Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Welcome back for another Herb of the Week at Ho. (laughs) Good morning. We're doing our 41st Herb of the Week, 41. And I just looked up and saw that my intro for Herb Oracle is 41 seconds. So I just always think that's funny. Like, I mean, bam, now 41 is going to harass us all week. And you know who else is going to harass us? (laughs) Our Herb of the Week, Betany, Wood Betany. And I'm not going to lie to you. There is a huge part of me that does not want to say Betany. It wants to say be Tony. Okay, because it's like B, like B E, and then Tony, like my grandpa Tony. <laughs> B Tony. So, everybody, this week with Bettany, we should be Tony. And, I, and my grandpa, he's been, he's been dead for 18 years, but let me tell you what, he was a pretty cool guy. And like to be Tony, to be him, was actually probably a pretty, is, and still is a pretty good idea. Um, because he was like real laid back. He did what he wanted to do. He had like his good routines, you know, like he, he, he liked things a certain way, but he was also so easygoing. You maybe didn't even know it. Um, there were some real cute things about him, you know, like, uh, well, he was cute, short, little Italian, dark, dark, as dark as a Sicilian can get. That's that's what he looked like. Um, nice wide nose, you know what I mean? Like, and um, great hair, soft, white, whitish silver hair. And um, he liked to walk around in his, his uh, underwear, his white briefs and white Hanes, um, V-neck white shirt and his slippers, like exactly like the kind that I'm wearing right now, like, like uh, brown leather moccasins. <laughs> um, and he wore Old Spice. And uh, all the kids, he had eight kids, everyone would pretty much get him a bottle of Old Spice for Christmas, and he wouldn't even unwrap them. <laughs> he, would, he would leave them wrapped in the gift wrap with the bow on top because he knew the shape of the box. And then as he needed them throughout the year, he would unwrap them. They were. You'd look under the his bathroom sink, and you would always see wrapped boxes of Old Spice. So, anyways, there was. There's lots. There's more to him, but that's what comes off on the top here. B Tony. So we're gonna talk about Wood Betney, but just know in my heart it's B Tony, and I'm thinking of my grandpa Tony. Everyone called him Chico. All right. So <clears throat> this is a pretty cool plant that I do not have growing here shame on me i should um do something about that uh like a couple years ago maybe like two years excuse me um i saw on the youtube channel for robin rose bennett she's a very beautiful herbalist um, she was just kind of getting into it. She was doing a video on it, but she was just saying like, you know, I'm, I'm experiencing more with this. I'm learning more about it. And then I didn't feel bad. <laughs> I was like, well, if Robin Rose Bennett is just like getting in to a betony, like, you know, I don't need to beat myself up that I haven't connected with this plant so much. But I put it on the list here for 2020 because uh, it just seemed like one that we might want to get to know more and invite into our lives. So we've got four cards, four cards for Wood Betney. We have a Soul Flower, um, one of the one from the Soul Flower deck from Lisa Estabrook at mysoulflower.com. So it's a real pretty card. We have a 
tarot card from the herbal tarot michael tierra that is a seven of swords so for my tarot my tarot cool cats and kittens uh, it's a seven of swords uh so we'll get that um <clears throat> let, me, let me clear my throat yeah that's the theme of december november this is the last fucking day of november just want to make that announcement <laughs> Piss on November. We are done with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything November. But it is the mother truck and last day. Um, so we will be ending in an, and starting a new month in a beautiful way with Wood Betney. We'll have the, the herbal healing deck by Sarah Baldwin and Ashley Verkamp. Their card is about grounding. And he's a cool looking dude. So the way I have the seven of swords, four, five of those swords are like getting chucked in his direction. <laughs> Which is hilarious because his eyes are big round saucers and they're pink and they're like, oh my God, he's got like a mustache. He's like, look at those swords coming at me. But he's grounded. He's like, I'm going to hold my own. Then we have our fourth and final card for Wood Betney will be... I don't, actually, I don't know what order I'm going to do them. Maybe I'll do this one first. It's a fairy. Nature's Messages from the Flower Fairies by Angela Crutchley. And it has a message of surprise. And it was a surprise for me to see it in the deck. See, so many of my decks do not, they come with guidebooks, but they do not have an index or, or even um, a table of contents. So I have to look through the whole deck to see if, it's in there. Listen, my people, my people making these decks, like the Herb Crafters Tarot, also guilty of this. There is no table of contents. There is no index. So, like, I just, if we could go back in time, if you could please add these in, <laughs> because I have to, like, go through and write my own, which is fine. I don't mind. Sure, I don't mind doing that. But an index or a table of contents, man, for us nerds, those are golden, man, okay? So anyways, it was a surprise to see um, this card because I was looking for wood betony and it's just listed as betony. And I was like, oh, it does have betony. And then I looked at the keyword and it's surprise. And I thought, oh, I am surprised that you're in here. And that was funny. So haha, -ha, cute little wood betony um, or betony <laughs> card is also here with us but okay before we piss on november completely i just want to say as we go back in time again when we hung out at the beginning of this month which really wasn't that many episodes ago because i took the whole month off to be sick <laughs> we did that tarot spread remember like the upcoming energies for november and it like totally told us it was gonna suck like for me anyways that I just had to get through November and I was like, okay, whatever that means. Well, now I know what that means. But anyways, that tarot spread was awesome. And we ended with an Oracle card, remember? And that Oracle card has been on display this entire month and it was embracing change. It was number 43 from the Soulful Woman deck, embracing change. With every loss, I understand that something new is about to be birthed beyond what I can imagine. So I just want to honor this card as we as we piss as we piss on the month of November. I want to honor this beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. She seems more beautiful today than she did at the beginning of the month because I went through so much. Um, I had to embrace change. I'm still embracing change. <clears throat> you know, I'm still. I'm still embracing change, but it what a good lesson, what a good card, and um, it's all good, you guys. Even though last night, I will say, I really laid in bed probably for three hours at least, literally just staring, staring, staring at the fucking wall, um, just sitting in this sad energy that I was feeling now a lot of it came from my mom you know I'm feeling her energy is you know an empathic kind of thing that she's been so sad and really having a hard time with my sister have you ever grieved 
for someone because they're not in your life and they're still alive they're still on this planet but it's like it's like a, a death it's still you know it's still grief because they're not in your life and they're not in, and when they are in your life it's not like it's not like you thought it would be or your expectations and so anyways I just was feeling that and feeling my own disappointments in 2020 you guys I'm still disappointed about my lover back on that from Valentine's because I think he and I could have been good that we could have been a good match like I like the way our bodies fit together do you know what I mean like and I like him and I care for him and I just still like definitely every once in a while fall into that feeling of rejection and you know I can't blame him totally I talked about this on my blog herboracle.blogspot.com you can't blame your rebound lover for breaking your heart your heart was already broken and so I totally get logically that I was already dealing with rejection on a massive level from my failed marriage and he really was just salt on the wound but I still am not going to deny the fact that every once in a while I just feel disappointed and like damn it spirit like that could have been good like why did why does he have to be an alcoholic why does he have to be a Capricorn <laughs> like you know and then it's just like then I'm over it but like it was resurfacing and when old stuff resurfaces just clean it up it's like kind of like you know a little dirt comes out of the woodwork get your broom look at the dirt feel it sweep it up learn read the, like reading tea leaves look at the dirt in the dustpan read your message again and then move on you know but it's just like like here we are the end of 2020 and it's just like I think about the potential of how different the year could have been if they if things would have went quote my way um, and then then that's when I have to um, give it over to divine planning and be like well just like our affirmation said something new is about to be birthed beyond what I can imagine so with every loss I understand that something new is about to be birthed beyond what I can imagine. So I just have to trust that there is something in the works for me beyond what I can imagine. And it might have seemed like a real big deal this year, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just a little glitch. Truly, even the big stuff in the grand, in the grand view is tiny and little. So anyways, I'm hoping Wood Betney is going to help us <clears throat> this week. Two messages of grounding, the soul flower and the herbal healing card both have a message of grounding. We'll have the seven of swords lesson because in tarot, it's just all lessons, isn't it? <laughs> and then thank goodness we have a little sweet fairy to surprise us with. So I don't know about you, but I want to start with the, I want to start with this surprise cuz lord knows I could use a little something to be excited about. Um I think that might be what the tarot spread that we'll do tomorrow. It's one that I made up. It's pretty rough and honest, but you'll like it. Uh we'll also have a little special something something tomorrow cuz I'm going to do um, a personal reading also tomorrow for Tuesday then Wednesday we're gonna manifest more thoughtfulness and then finally we'll get to hang out with the trees again it just feels like so long since our last hangout and Friday we'll, we'll we'll pick a pile because you cannot believe how many people are showing up for that pick a pile are you sharing these podcasts with your friends because just like that holy man those Friday episodes must be fun for people um, because I think people are sharing them either like on their Facebook or Twitter or something some some one of you maybe it's only one person <laughs> with a lot of friends thank you for spreading the word because that's just how we do it we just so old-fashioned here it is everything's by word of mouth and um, which is effective it's slow 
but effective. And I appreciate you being my cheerleader. All right, let's be Tony. Okay, cool. All right, I think we're going to go soul flower, fairy, and then from there. <laughs> Um, I want to do the soul flower first because it's the message is literally on the card. This is a great deck to like do a daily pull. Like what is my soul flower for today? And you could just pull a new card every day. Um, and if you go to mysoulflower.com and sign up for Lisa's newsletter, like she a lot of times will send you a free coloring page and, and uh, she has coloring pages for only 99 cents and at least she did because I know because I've purchased one <laughs> I purchased one before thanks honey <laughs> um I love them I do I'm not a big color myself you know like I don't sit down and color although some people need to color some people list it on self-care like adult coloring like sitting down coloring and um I was thinking actually for my mom um I was well I think she has some coloring books <clears throat> but she's, you know, my mom had a concussion with that accident when she got hit by a car. <laughs> um, obviously, she had a concussion, um, amongst other things. And, you know, her focus and attention is so compromised now. And I was thinking, like, what can I do for her? Like, so she could do some coloring, but I was also thinking about maybe getting her a paint by number um, for Christmas, maybe. Because she needs something creative. It's really, I see the difficulty of of introducing something creative into someone's life who has kind of renounced creativity in a lot of ways. Like my mom is just a hard worker. She just work, work, works. Um, and you know, and usually physically, and now that she doesn't have a hundred percent of her physical body, um, honey, we got to get you back connected with creativity. Um, get you grounded. So we got a great message of grounding. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to mention mysoulflower.com because uh, Lisa is a lot like me in the way that she is relentless in her self journey, her expansion, understanding herself. Um, now, I don't know if her motivations are the same for me. Like, I just don't want to be miserable anymore. You know, Like, please, I just want to be happy. Um, but anyways, so she does a lot, a lot of self-reflection and she gives a lot. And so anyways, mysoulflower.com. Now this Wood Betany card, <clears throat> dang, I'm still struggling with the mucus just a tiny bit. So sorry. Uh, grounding like a loving hug like a loving hug. I think we should just all wrap our arms around ourselves right now. Like a loving hug, which I miss getting hugs. Okay, enough Sadie. Like a loving hug. Wood Betany energy is very physical, calming and grounding. Helping you connect with your intuition and gut feelings and strengthening your boundaries so that you can manage relationships and responsibilities with ease and a strong sense of physical and emotional well-being. So yeah, our this physical realm that we do reside in, Like, I hate to say that we have to have boundaries, but yeah, sometimes you do. You absolutely do. Um, and this message of grounding is so important because once you start to tap into your genuine spiritual journey and you really start to open up your vessel to divine light and to your higher the higher vibes okay you can get almost dizzy from bringing in new energy you can actually get almost even dizzy from breathing more air more oxygen and it's like you gotta have your feet on the ground physically and energetically sometimes so that one you can anchor in this energy and two you don't 
get overwhelmed. And like I said, like I often feel, I often felt dizzy and every once in a while I'll get a little spin, but I know how to, I know how to ground now much, much better. But yeah, there was a point that it was like, um, you need to learn how to ground <laughs> or, and eat some more potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Like I really had to, to get a hold of it so I could feel balanced and not overwhelmed and not like just float off this earth. <laughs> but anyways, it's very calming, very grounding, helping us to connect with our intuition, our gut feelings, strengthen our boundaries so that we can manage relationships, responsibilities, feeling easy about that and strong, a strong sense of physical and emotional well-being. So, <clears throat> is this the perfect um, herb of the week to start December? Yes. Oh my God, yes. A strong sense of physical and emotional well-being. I know that's what I want. Absolutely. If there is a desire that has emerged from 2020 fuckery, it is just wanting to feel strong. Just wanting to feel well, emotionally, physically, like we just want well-being, right? It's COVID compromised that for everybody, making everyone feel like susceptible. Don't you just feel, as Abraham Hicks would put it, rockets of desire being launched for a strong sense of physical well-being? And then look what it did to everybody emotionally. Look what 2020 did to everybody emotionally. Uh, even more than a physical well-being wish, we need to manifest emotional well-being. So I would say let's dedicate December to doing just that. I know I'm going to get in my cupboard. I'm going to get like all my mushroom supplements and my vitamins and and really try to build myself up so I can end and end the old year and start the new year really feeling confident in my strength. Really start to see like, okay, we are almost done with 2020. I cannot keep whining about this stuff that happened. I don't, I don't want to bring 2020 into 2021. Like as soon as that clock strikes midnight, we are done with 2020. Okay, we're done with it. So what do we need to do to wrap it up, to heal it up so that we can then light it up? Oh, we are torching it up in 2021. But we better get ready to do that. Like right now, I'm not ready. <laughs> Listen to me, I have to keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> you know, like I need physically, I probably need to juice celery and just really detox and build 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 um emotionally am i ready or is there a little bit of cleaning up a little bit of strengthening up that i could do maybe a little boundary definition you know you know all right so anyways this card's gorgeous uh the leaves of this plant are very interesting unique um it almost reminds you of bee balm the way it's drawn on this picture on the herbal healing card, it almost reminds you of heal all the way it's drawn. Like it's a very different looking plant in these pictures. And like I said, I never have grown it. And I don't know if it actually grows around here, like but on its own. I don't know the way it looks on the on the uh, herbal tarot card. Maybe I have seen it. But maybe I haven't. So anyways, this is definitely one of those plants that like if I want to bring it into my life, I find seeds um, somewhere and I start them and keep them separated so that, you know, like I know where it's at, what it is, observe it, um, get to know it like that. Um, you could, let's see what else. We're going to learn a lot about this plant. We could probably already order it dried and all that, but but I like to have it in my in my real life. I like to see it in fresh form because that's usually how I like to use plants. 
So anyways, it could be a surprise. That's the thing. It's like you don't know what it's going to be because you never had it before. Every year I like to connect with a new plant in my garden or in my pot. Like, you know what I mean? Like just to even have it in a pot. This year, um, I kind of slacked. Was it this year or last year? I'm so confused. <laughs> that would have been this year at the farmer's market when I met that older couple who was like, oh, come to my house, I have an herb for you. And my daughters to this day make fun of me because like I'm really overprotective with them. I'm like, don't talk to strangers. And they're like, okay, mom, but like two old people invite you to your their house and you just go. <laughs> like you don't even know them. Like they make fun of me because like I'm a little bit of a hypocrite, I guess, because, you know, but they are, were so sweet. You would have went to their house too. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, so anyways, they gave me anise hyssop and I'll, all I ever did was let it grow in the pot and I fell in love with it to the point where, oh, we will be putting this somewhere next year. So even if you just have wood betony in a pot, listen to my voice going down fast. Even if you just have it in a pot, it would be a nice surprise. Okay, so surprise. Um, this must be a pretty cool flower, you guys, because for it to be in the nature's messages from the flower fairies and the soul flower, it must be a pretty cool flower, like just, you know, as a flower. Um, so the fairies are here waving their wands to create sparkles of delight. This pretty woodland plant with its delicate, small purplish flowers brings a pleasing surprise. There appears to have been many folklore beliefs and superstitions about the plant betony over the years, which all appear to have positive outcomes. <laughs> so thank you, Jesus. Can I get an amen? Like enough of this 2020 negativity, please. Like, okay, like we're, ha we're having a good sense of humor about it, <laughs> but can we please have a positive outcome? Okay. And so that's what we got to stay focused on <clears throat> a positive outcome, <clears throat> a Roman proverb for someone troubled was sell your coat and buy Bethany. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. <clears throat> What's not interesting me anymore is my throat. Okay. Um, b sell your coat and buy betony. That's what the Romans used to say. The Spaniards used to say, he has as many virtues as betony. So it indicated what value was placed on its remedial properties. So betony was also said to be endowed with powers against evil spirits and bad dreams. Betony has been hung around necks as a good luck charm or amulet. So, good. I like starting a new week, a new month with wood betony. This card represents an unexpected but welcome surprise coming your way very soon. Did anyone else think of of what I did? <laughs> Is anyone else's mind in the gutter today or just me? <laughs> I've been so good lately, but even in my dreams last night, there was even a penis in my dreams last night. So like I know like time's ticking for me in that department when I start dreaming about dicks, you know? Okay. Anyways, Wood Betany. That's what we're talking about today. Thanks for coming here if this is your first time. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, like I thought we were just going to learn about the plant and she keeps talking about penises. I feel you, girl. Um, surprises may invest themselves in many ways. So it might not be that. It could be an act of kindness. <laughs> it could be someone new or even an old friend to meet. It could be a gift given in love for a treat. Okay, so surprises, it could be, but it's something unexpected and something, something that you'll like. Although your surprise may not away in the way that you think or desire, 
<clears throat> it will aim to bring comfort, a smile, some delight. Okay, so here's what Bethany wants us to do while we drink our tea and, and hack like an old man. Sit back and dream. Sit back and dream. Wish or begin to think of all the areas within your life where the fairies could bring forth a treat. <clears throat> so, what areas of your life right now could the fairies, could Wood Betney bring forth a treat? Because this is this, and we'll, we're gonna we are we are going to talk about this tomorrow with our tarot spread. Like, remind me of something to be excited about. What area of my life could a treat be brought forth? And I'm just saying the area of my life, if I'm giving the fairies some suggestions, are my lips, okay? Because I just cannot believe I have not been kissed in 2020. <laughs> I'm like, I should be. <laughs> And it's like, oh my gosh, like, hey, new friend, old friend, like, whatever, like, send him. I'm ready. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can't completely get me off of this topic um, and focused on Wood Betney with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, Botanica Officinalis, Wood Betney, Seven of Swords, Moon in Aquarius. So there are five swords flying through the air, which indicate thoughts that are ungrounded, elusive, and changeable. Only some of the information is at hand, thus two swords are in the ground. No person is visible on this card, which indicates that confrontations are being avoided or that there are hidden intentions. There can be a sense that things are too changeable and confusing to bother about. So even though our theme for November has been embracing change, um, <clears throat> this Seven of Swords is kind of like, yeah, and sometimes it's like so changeable, it's confusing, you don't even maybe, you maybe want to avoid, avoid it because it's just like, oh my God, yeah. It may be a good time to do some research or to collect knowledge and ideas from others with regards to the scene at hand. So lay your cards on the table and be honest with yourself and with others. Be willing to reveal your true intentions or to find out and listen to what others' true intentions are. Situations like this can wear on the nerves until it is clear as to what till it is clear as to what is going on. <clears throat> yeah, 2020, what is going on? I mean, I know I'm supposed to get off this subject, but it's like, when I think about um, like how much I enjoy being physical and sweet and loving and, and I was deprived of it for so long, and now I, I would, and part of me would like it so much but yet it's not coming. It has not, I've, there is absolutely zero prospect of it at all, at all. Like there is nothing in the love arena for me that I can see. You know, it's like, what is going on? And then, yeah, I guess I have to trust, hey, either nothing is going on and, you know, I don't want to complain because like I know lots of people who have been um, love, loveless as far as romantic love for way longer than me. Like I'm talking years and like my mom has not had a love interest for like forever, definitely over 10 years, I think. I mean, one that was worth mentioning, but anyways, um, yeah, like I think, well, maybe you should just chill out and I am and I have, but I'm, I'm just like, when the fairies are like, oh, there's a surprise that would delight you. There is not much that would delight me at this point in my life, except for that. Do you know what I mean? Like I have everything. I'm good. I'm a delightful person 78% of the time on my own. Like there's not too many surprises that I would get actually excited about. 
but if it's a beautiful man, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I would be excited about that. But, um, so anyways, but I don't know what's going on. I only, I can only see two of the swords. Five of the swords are just getting chucked through the air. I don't know what's going on. So the affirmation with this card is, with a peaceful heart, I gather information and truth for my plans and goals. So yeah, not all things are being revealed. Um, this time off, solo, single, singleton, has given me lots of time to be honest with myself and others, I guess, but mostly myself, you know what I mean? Um, so it's like, really, I need to just appreciate the blessing that my life is. And more often than not, I crawl into bed at night and I am really thankful there's no one else there. Especially last night, I was like bellyache and I was farting. I was. Like, I don't always fart. But last night, I was like, good Lord, what is this all about? <laughs> good Lord, what is this all about, Sadie? And I was very thankful to be alone. <laughs> but it's like every once in a while. Where's the moon today? Let me grab my phone. Where's the moon? Because every once in a while, yeah, I think, mm, is it time yet? Uh, the moon is in Gemini today. It's a full moon. Okay, the sun's in Sagittarius. The moon's in Gemini. Yeah, pretty much a full moon. Um, that might have something to do with it. Okie doke, Wood Betany. Let's talk about it. It is our herb of the week. So spiritually, this plant has a colorful past and has been said to have the virtue of protecting against evil spirits. So you would have found it planted in churchyards. Um, people wore it around their neck as a charm or an amulet to protect from fearful visions to drive away devils in despair, okay? Now, we can employ betony in that fashion again to ease the mental anguish and fearful visions one might have when dealing with a seven of swords situation internally or externally. So we know now that we've hung out for, I don't know, 300 and whatever podcasts together, the demons live inside us. Like the bad thoughts that's as evil spirits as it gets. And we can literally drive ourselves crazy with our fearful visions and our despair. So Betany can help ease our mental anguish that is truly no one's fault but our own. Um, but nonetheless, sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need help getting out of that mental tailspin into despair. And I have seen myself fall into it many times this year. And I really don't want to keep perpetuating that. Like, I don't want to keep having nights where I stare at the wall for three hours, like literally just drowning in my own thoughts and not even caring anymore like dr drown me bitch I could like care less <laughs> what's the point what is even the point anymore like like so I really think that you know I want to go back to some of my old studies St. John's wort mother wort lemon balm for some help but 2020 has taught us that maybe we need a maybe we need a new team player and maybe wood betony could be just that for us. So something to look into, you guys. The other herbal allies, if we don't have access to wood betony, could be passion flower and skull cap. Um, so there's those are the herbal allies. So medicinally, wood betony is used as a nervine or nervine, however you want to say it, with special action for diseases of the head. <laughs> What's your problem, honey? Honey, I got disease of the head. <laughs> like literally, like my head must be diseased because like surely I am not doing this again, right? Anyways, you can take it daily with boiled warm milk 
it is a good remedy for headaches, for chronic headaches. It relieves, relieves anxiety, hysteria, nervousness, insomnia. And then it's usually combined with other nervines. Or is it nervines? Where's my freaking robot when I need him? Um, okay, so you can take three or four drops of the herbal essence. It will help clear and calm the mind and thus enable one to research and put into order the information about the situation at hand. Maybe I'll, if I start taking it, I'll start making um, more nerdy podcasts at Herbal Marie. Like, I have not even been able to focus on anything productive like that in a long time. Um, so hey, maybe, maybe this is my 2021, baby. Uh, you can wear it to protect against hidden intention, intentions and deceptions and and connect with the spirit of this herb to keep yourself from falling into playing games right these games that we pl that people play with each other um i don't like playing games like that with w intentions and it's like it's like we really need to just like be straightforward open honest yeah, no games. So you can make a standard infusion of wood betony and take one cup three times a day or 10 drops of the tincture. Now, big old disclaim out the wazoo, bold print. Wood betony is contradicted during pregnancy because it is a uterine stimulant. So don't take it if you are pregnant. Now, um, so I'm assuming the aerial parts of the plant. Um, see, so we'll, we'll have to take we'll have to take our a little dive into some nerdy books to find out exactly how to harvest it. There's probably some great YouTube videos. I I should go back and rewatch that one with Robin Rose Bennett. Um, if I'm going to grow this plant, have a good look at it. Um, let's see what the herbal healing deck has to say. So it all, it too has a message of grounding. It's not too often that I, we've done an herb of the week that like I didn't have a personal story with. <laughs> I mean, my grandpa, yeah, that was my personal story, but I'm saying like with the plant. <laughs> like, I feel like I've had this in a baggie before, like from an herb shop 20 years ago, but I didn't really know anything about it you know like I used to buy stuff all the time when I was a young maiden at an herb shop and um I had no I had no idea what I was buying <laughs> I just was like that looks cool let's get it now Steve Goodyear said get yourself grounded and you can navigate even the stormiest roads in peace so we're gonna end our hangout with Wood Betony um, with this serious message of getting grounded. Cause that Seven of Swords, it's like, hey, if you if you like don't have all the information, you don't actually know what the F is going on, you could let yourself get all anxious and crazy about that. Or you could get grounded and embrace the change and get focused and be able to handle the situation, at least in your head. You know, it's like sometimes we can't always, you know, there's not much we can do externally, but we don't have to get crazy internally. We need to stay grounded and peaceful and focused. Um, wood betony is the common name for Statuals officinalis, a perennial native to Europe. The plant played a major role in ancient Greco-Roman culture in the Middle Ages. So this is a cure-all, which is funny because I thought it looked like self-heal and heal-all, you know. This is a cure-all for like lots of good things for everything and a protective charm. So here's here's my na 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 na. I knew this book would deliver. The leaves strengthen the entire digestive system and can be used to settle the stomach in cases of heartburn, indigestion, and gas. So, where were you last night? <laughs> 
Wood betony also soothes and fortifies the nervous system, which promotes peace and calm. By improving cerebral circulation, this herb soothes headaches, promotes recovery from strokes, and boosts the memory. So this would also be a good one for my mom, who, yeah, like, walked walked away um, from a crazy accident, but also walked away with a bit of brain damage, you know? It's like, you just can't get that hit that hard and not feel it. So, yeah, this would be good for, I can see a lot, a lot of things. And for all these reasons, Wood Betony provides support for the elderly. So getting that circulation, getting indigestion happy, calming down, keeping the nervous system soothed and fortified, mm -hmm. boosting the memory. I like it. Um, so this is a reminder to stay grounded. Um, and this small herb grows close to the ground. So it stays close to the ground. Um, so it tells us to also stay close to the ground and stay grounded. Then it will send up thin stalks with purple flowers each year. So, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know how big it gets, but it, this says small. Um, although I kind of remember it. I have to, I'm going to have to go back and watch that um, video again. And even on my YouTube channel, Sadie Marie Cherico, on my playlists, I have a lot of playlists. I'm trying to make a playlist for each herb. <laughs> well, I tried at one point. I should keep trying because... Um, it's nice to have them organized like that. And so, like, if you just want to go and look and see Wood Betony, there will be a couple videos. Bam. So, hopefully I did that one. If not, I will have to. <laughs> all right. So, now we're going to talk about the herbalist Matthew Wood again. They reference to him all the time in this book. And I really, I don't think I have any of his books, and I really have never connected with him. But... <laughs> The more I hear like what he's into, I'm like, oh yeah, we should be friends. <laughs> um, so Matthew Wood um, praises this plant as a superb solar plexus remedy, improving gut level instincts and intuition. So that solar plexus, that place of our um, divine will and power you know, we want to be grounded and we want to be tuned in. We want to listen to our own guidance. We want to listen to our own intuition. Located between the ribs and the navel, this powerful energy center produces palpable feelings such as butterflies in the stomach. Like <clears throat> when you literally ha have a gut reaction, that is your solar plexus. Um, it can also notify us of strong emotions or even potential danger. Little butterflies in your stomach, maybe a little excitement, maybe a little like, hey, pay attention to this. It is vital to listen to your gut feelings at this time as your solar plexus contains deep wisdom that may not be known to your conscious mind. So I have expressed to you in the past and on another playlist on my YouTube channel about the chakra system, I go through each one, and I'm pretty sure I stated at the beginning of that those videos, there was a time that I did not credit or even care about chakras. Like, it was like, whatever, dude. Like, you know, like, maybe I heard it in a yoga class, <clears throat> and I already don't like yoga, and... <laughs> And I already don't like yoga. So then whenever they were like, align your chakras, and I'm like, Jesus fuck. You know what I mean? Like, what did I get myself into here? But now that the chakras have literally stalked me, harassed me, invited themselves in like every oracle deck and experience and then I had my own experiences of them not being opened or not being in alignment or not spinning 
Um, now I'm like, okay, fine. Like, I will agree that we have chakras. <laughs> but there was a time that I was like not having it at all. Now, a strong solar plexus provides self-esteem and willpower. So that can protect us from unwanted influences. Like St. John's wort, wood betony has a history of use for protection against evil spirits. Um, <clears throat> there was a, in the story in the first century AD, Pliny the Elder recounted folk tales in which the leaves of the plant could be used to drive serpents insane, causing them to kill themselves, okay? Anyways, whether that was true or not, um, it's still like a story or a metaphor for battling dark forces. St. Hildegard of Binden suggested wood betony as a means of warding off bad dreams, unwanted love spells. In the 1500s, Richard Banks wrote that the plant prevented monstrous nocturnal visitors. And then interestingly, in modern times, Matthew Wood, who probably should be friends, I should be friends with, has found this herb to be a useful remedy for those who suffer from unwanted extraterrestrial contact. Um, hey, it's, it's out there and people have lots of stories. Although now we know that like, if you were visited from a gray, it was because you actually did have an agreement with them. It might seem unwanted, but on some level, you agreed to it. So sorry. <laughs> sorry about your luck. Wood Betany's message is clear. Grounding yourself will serve as protection from negative and disruptive energies. And the best way to get grounded is by connecting to the earth, spending time in nature, earthing, walking on the bare grass, you know, put your hand on a tree, get grounded physically physically connect with the ground and then you receive the plant's natural energy it will have a positive effect on your electromagnetic field it will protect you from negative and disruptive energies and even if the negative and disruptive energies are there it doesn't matter because you are grounded and it will also improve chronic pain insomnia anxiety shit like that. Emotionally, it'll help you find inner balance and peace. So that is why um, this month when I was full of anxiety, like not only was I sick and could hardly breathe, but then I had like anxiety on top of it from it from because of it. I don't know. But all I could do was sit outside and let nature comfort me. I spent several days from like 10 in the morning until five, sitting in the middle of my yard, just sitting there. I know, my neighbors were probably like, what the actual fuck is wrong with her? Um, but that's what I needed to do. And I don't care what people think about me. So if I'm going to just sit in my yard and let the sun bake me, literally I just wanted to be baked, um, and, and shown upon, like just shine on me, please. Um, that's what I did. And that was so healing and grounding and comforting to me. So it's like, if you are struggling, go outside. If, if you cannot breathe in this house because of stress, of anxiety, of, you don't even know why, go outside. If you're feeling good, I want you to stay feeling good, so every day, go outside, go outside, go outside. Now, food is another ways of staying grounded. Remember how I said, like, I gotta eat some potatoes? Like, sometimes I really feel like I have to eat potatoes or roasted carrots or, like, something that was grown in dirt. Um, so, nourish yourself is another message. Um, use fresh ingredients. Root vegetables are especially grounding. Uh, remember too that you have energetic roots that extend into the earth and hold you to the planet. So see this for yourself. Wood Betany wants you to see your roots growing into Mother Earth. Know that she loves you and that you are safe in her arms. 
All right, so a couple more interesting things about the energy of our herb of the week, wood betony. <clears throat> the spirit of wood betony can help ground the wild energy of Uranus. I know in the 80s we said Uranus, and honey, we're just going to clean that up now. <laughs> we're not going to talk about your anus anymore. We're talking about Uranus. Anyways, it's associated with electricity. Um, so if like you notice that electricity acts funny around you, you have flickering lights, light bulbs be burning out, things like that, electrical items are acting funny, this actually might be a sign of stress or heightened energy or even high strangeness. So if you've been feeling scattered, it might help to, of course, let go of some of your routines and responsibilities for a little bit ground your energy and um, get focused again. And that's what wood betony can help us do. Calm down, get focused. Calm down and get focused. And then we can focus on our most important tasks with our full attention. We can let all the other, mm, other stuff, right? It's not that important, it can wait. You can let all that other stuff wait and while we'll focus on the stuff that really needs to be taken care of. Or like the Seven of Swords say, that you are really ready to figure out and fix. But the best way to do that is from being grounded. We have that little fairy coming in with a surprise, I guess. We're gonna get a surprise. <laughs> You should probably be grounded in case it's maybe not the type of surprise that you were expecting. Um, grounding will help you maximize your use of energy so that none is wasted. If you're having trouble realizing a goal, getting grounded is the key. So it's not like you need to do any more or put any more energy out. A lot of times you make the best progress when you just get grounded, settle down, calm down, quiet your mind, be soothed, and then focus on that energy that's already coming through you, that you're already putting out. So they end by saying, by staying present in your body from moment to moment, your willpower will automatically yield better results with greater efficiency and ease. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by our Herb of the Week, Wood Betony, and I lovingly dedicate them all to you. Thank you. I am grounded. I focus on my projects in a relaxed way. I feel the Earth's love for me. I am ready for exciting surprises. With a peaceful heart, I gather information and truth for my plans and goals. I am grounded. I focus on my projects in a relaxed way. I feel the Earth's love for me. I am ready for exciting surprises. With a peaceful heart, I gather information and truth for my plans and goals. So be it. All right, so there's our affirmations. When I went to use voice to text to say like affirmation minute would betony, it did affirmation minute and then it did would like would you pass me the honey, like would. And then instead of betony, it wrote bethany. So and then and then I thought of the only person that I know named Bethany who used to be our neighbor when we were kids. Um, and then when we were young adults, her parents' house exploded. Like this is right across from my mom's driveway. The house exploded. 
her parents died and her son in that explosion. Isn't that fucking awful? I'm so sorry to tell you that. But when I am bitching about little stupid shit in my life, sometimes I need to be reminded about what other people have actually gone through. And it's like, why are you even talking? (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you think about other people's pain and experience and trauma, it's just like, it's just a little slap in your face, like a wake up call. Like, what do you even have to bitch about? So what if you didn't get any dick in 2020? Like, some people have lost their parents and child in the same second. Like, oh my God, it just puts me in my place. So anyways, um, I guess that that's good. <laughs> anyways, uh, I do want to end with... I got out my nerdy folder for Wood Betany. It only has one piece of paper in it, handwritten. I wrote down Wood Betany Tincture. It's a gentle Nervine tincture. It's a relaxant. It helps ease anxiety and tension when the nervous system has been overworked. It can also be used as a bitter carminative, aids in digestion, helps bring energy back down from the head and into the body. So that makes it great for headaches, helps us empower or embody our power in our solar plexus, and it also helps strengthen the gut-brain connection. I grabbed my phone and just am reading through the wood betony for the eye plant. Brigitte Mars made an app called Eye Plant. You can download it for free and then for like a couple bucks, you can upgrade and get the full version and it's totally worth it. It's a great app. Um, and, and, it, and she has all the, all the good things listed about it. But what I find interesting is that, um, well, you can eat it. You can eat the young shoots and leaves. You can eat them raw or cooked. And then the fresh plant, if you grow this plant and um, you have like blonde hair, you can make it into a hair rinse yielding golden highlights and it can also be used to make a yellow dye for wool and the dried plant has been burned as a purifying incense and you know how I love to light shit on fire (laughs) so that is interesting to me as well and yeah we should eat it It has calcium and magnesium and manganese and phosphorus and all types of good stuff in it And it is safe, but large doses could cause vomiting. So just go easy. If you're pregnant, completely avoid it. This says avoid large doses, but avoid it except in in labor. And then if you are under the guidance of somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing, you could eat it um, during labor because it is a uterine stimulant. But anyways, um, she says, do not confuse stackies, which is the the Latin name for betony. Don't confuse this species with pedicularis species, which are also known as betony, but their uses are not interchangeable. So totally, we always gotta do our research. You can make a mouthwash with this. It's good for sore gums and throat. Um, you could use it, like I said, for your, she has a whole list. It's like apparently good for everything. <laughs> Um, you could put it on your wounds, put it on your varicose veins, use it for your headaches, relaxes you, might help lower your blood sugar levels, might help with treatment of alcoholism, um, might help with anxiety, um, all types of stuff, fear, exhaustion, hearing loss, because remember it does increase that circulation. Um, the Italians said it is better to sell your coat than to be without betony. So people have really loved this herb over time. And yeah, it seems pretty awesome. Now, it has a tall, hairy stem and rough fringed leaves. It has two-lipped flowers and they can either be like pink to purple 
um, and they bloom in whorls from short spikes. The spikes have the unique quality of having a break in the flower ring so that the spike is interrupted. I don't know, does that help you? <laughs> Did you visualize that in your head? And then yeah, she's got some pictures in this app of the leaves. It looks like a jaggier lemon balm leaf kind of. And yeah, it totally looks like it could be kind of related to like self heal or skull cap. Let me see. Yeah, interesting. And it's taller than what I thought it would be. All right, you'll have to download the app, I Plant by Brigitte Mars. And yeah, shout out to our awesome herb of the week, Wood Betany. Yeah, I just had to take it one step, na 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 further for my inner herb nerd who was like, um, that was a good podcast, but I was just wondering. <laughs> my inner nerd was like, could I just, could we just sit in the nerdy information? And so I feel like Wood Betany is going to be a good spiritual guide for us to get a little nerdy, a little focused, um, a little bit more productive, a lot more calm, a lot more grounded, maybe even get us thinking about getting excited about a little surprise or just you know I'll tell you what like I said the best thing for me to get excited about now is getting that strong sense of physical and emotional well-being lovers aside you know we got to get that done first so I'm glad you're here with me for the 41st number 41 herb that we've done here at Ho. If you're just joining us, you'll have lots to go back and listen to. There's no rush, you know. Um, stay with me now. Move ahead forward. And really, let's get feeling better and be well together. Yeah, bottom line, I am super glad you are here. And I'm, again, thankful for that person who shared um, a podcast with somebody. And now your friends are here, too. And now we can collectively put our energy together, get grounded, and um, really end 2020 in a good place so that 2021, whew, we are going to light it up. All right, you guys, so much love to you. I'll see you again tomorrow for Tarot Tuesday. <laughs>